Hi everyone, in this video we'll make a game in Unity without writing code. If you haven't downloaded Unity before, you can download it from its website. Make sure that the version is 2020 or higher. After this video, you should check out these videos on my channel. Let's start. After creating a new project in Unity, open the asset store from the browser and type Santa Claus in the search field and search. Then select free assets from the filter section. The name of the asset is Santa Claus is coming to town. Choose the third one of the results and download it. Click the add to my assets button and select open in Unity in the pop-up that appears. Then download this asset using package manager and then import it. Our set is ready. After that, click on the Santa Claus folder in the project section and open the demo scene in it. Let's test the scene. After the game opens, we must press enter to start it. As you can see, our scene is working. Now we are going to make adjustments to this scene. First, let's hide the ads that appear on the screen. We inactivate the ads by following the canvas game over ad path in the hierarchy tab. Now the screen looks cleaner. Next, let's change the background color of the ground. For this, we click on the material folder and add material into it. I choose the orange color, but you can choose the color you want. Then drag this material towards the ground. This will change our background color of the ground. Then let's expand the ground a little. Then let's add different objects to our map because it looks a bit sparse. For this let's select the map object folder and drag the prefabs in it to the scene. Here you can add the object you want to the scene. There are various objects such as trees, boxes etc. At the same time you can download different models from the asset store and add them to the scene. That's it, our map looks richer now. There is a counter called deadhead in our scene object. This counter means how many enemies there are in the scene then the game ends. You can edit this as you wish. For example, let's do 10 and see the results. As you can see, the game is over when the counter reaches 10. Then I change the background color of the ground again, but you don't need to do that. Now we have come to the final stage. In the hierarchy tab, let's select and expand our walls object. We'll set the position and size of each object in it. Since we expanded the ground before, we need to expand the walls, otherwise it will be incompatible. You can think of these walls as an invisible wall. It prevents the player and enemies on the stage from falling down from the map. There is a box collider component in each of them. That's it. Our game is ready, let's test it now. You can move the player with the WASD keys in the game. Also you can attack with O and P keys and dash with LK. So that's it. If you like this video please subscribe also leave a comment. See you in the next video.